What's up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about uh, phone authentication in your Ionic 3 applications. So not just Ionic 3, Angular as well. Ionic application is basically an Angular application that's being bundled and made to run inside your uh, mobile device right. Anyway let's not go there. Uh, coming back to a point, uh, let's talk about phone authentication in Ionic 3 applications. Uh, this can be done in two ways guys, one is using Firebase and a lot of people have already made videos on that and then uploaded that specifically. The other easier way, uh, yeah, easier way and much simpler way would be to use uh, account kit from Facebook guys, uh, account kit through Facebook guys. Uh, uh, it enables you to log in inside uh, your application with your mobile number uh, or rather yeah I'll show you you'll understand uh, but you can't access Facebook's data or you can't make your app uh, uh, or you can't program your app in such a way that it makes any posts on your Facebook timeline or someone else Facebook timeline for that matter so uh, it's just a uh, like account creation system uh, that does not use your Facebook account in any way okay so that's what you are going to uh, see in this video it's a pretty much simple method and uh, once you see that you will understand the beauty I mean understand the simplicity of this method so let's get started right away guys first of all I have created a new Ionic 3 blank application here and then I'll uh, add a couple of uh, pages ionic g uh, page login ionic g page dashboard okay login page will have a button that will may enable us to log in using our phone number and the dashboard page is the one that is being shown when the user successfully logs in into your application uh, yeah that is done then let's install the Cordova plugin that enables us to do this it's the Cordova plugin account kit. This is the one. So, uh, so long thing, right? Cordova plugin and Cordova plugin. Say first is the variable app ID, app name, and client token. So all these three you need to get from your uh, developer account in Facebook. I have opened up the developer portal here, developers.facebook.com, and then I'll create a new app. Um, something phone auth. Okay authentication okay and then contact email I okay I have just created a uh, app on my Facebook developer portal now if you notice there are a lot of cool products here available that you can integrate with your application right so what we'll be making use of is this account kit this is the one that we are going to be making use of uh, for phone login okay now that this is ready we'll just get into account kit click on setup and then click on android you don't need to if you want you can run through this otherwise just click on settings and then click on get started now what you need to do here is simple uh, you will see the app id on the top left corner the account client to account kit client token uh, and your phone's name that you need to use it All, those three are the ones that are being asked here right so you need to get these three and then uh, fill in while installing the plugin so i'll do that now so, Okay, let this get installed. Meanwhile, we'll just get into our application, open up uh, the code here for pages. First, I'll get into app.module.ts and then, uh, oh, sorry, this is too small, right? References. Uh, app.component.ts 
this and then here I'll add okay and then getting into login.html I'll simply add a button that's more than enough right I'll Okay, uh, I have just created a button and then there's a small heading above the button saying login with your phone now that's it. Now I'll get into login.ts and then here I'll add the corresponding method. Uh, login, right? Login and inside this. Da -da -da. What, what was that? Uh, What were those options? We'll get these three. Initial phone number we'll leave blank for now. This will have a success callback that I'll write a function for that now. Data, data, and uh, inside this once again I'll any. Get account will get our account, actual account. Mm. I'll log in, in I mean, uh, set the root as dashboard page. Okay. And uh, if there is any error, understand what's going on here right I'm simply using the account kit plugin and then uh, passing in some options along with it obviously and then I'm trying to log in once I log in automatically uh, it should navigate to dashboard page if not it should display an error that's all I'm doing here uh, yeah uh, let's see if this got installed yeah this got installed now let's actually try to run this app on our uh, device and see if this works okay so first I should set up a platform right Cordova platform at Android okay okay this is done now uh, let me connect my device and then try to run this app now if I try to run this app wait. if I try to run this app I'll get an error uh, first I'll show you the error and then I'll show you how to fix it so Ionic uh, Cordova run Android you get an error right now if you notice oh mouse is not there. the error is actually wait this is the error right it's checking for this fb app id fb app name and account kit token uh, but those three string values are not present right so uh, we need to give these in order to uh, make this work uh, as of now this is a bug with the uh, plugin itself called or plugin itself i guess I hope it will get fixed soon. Let's uh, give a quick fix now uh, so that this works fine. Okay, so to do that, just get into platforms, Android. This is our uh, build project, right? And then source, res. Inside this, there is a values directory, right? Get into that. Get into strings.xml. And then there are just three strings, right? We need to add our three values as well in this. So what you do is uh, get into accountkit.xml. Sorry, not accountkit.xml. Sorry. Uh, get into config.xml. And if you scroll down, you will see all three here, right? Three variable names. Copy these. And simply get back to st 
strings.xml paste them here and then modify everything okay now i need to change it to fb app id fb app name and account kit token right okay this is a quick fix guys uh, now we have given all these three values that are being needed by this um, be being needed at the time of compilation right now let's run this app again in our device and see if this goes fine hopefully it should go fine let's check before checking that let's go into our app here and see if we have actually allowed client access token flow and sms login yeah both are allowed let's check now okay it's deployed oh i can show it here right wait let me okay this is how it's being shown on my uh, mobile device so i'll click on login with phone number you get you get a interface like this right now just uh, give in your number here or any other number which you want to use to log in inside this application so I'll blur this part out guys or I'll just edit this and then show you the next stage okay okay you get a sent message right and you get a message that says enter the code that was sent to so and so mobile number right now let's see if we actually get the message we get the message right uh, 665163 665163 so I'll enter that 665 And then click on continue it's verified and uh, it automatically navigated to my dashboard right so this is how uh, you could implement uh, phone authentication in your uh, ionic 3 apps guys it, it's a very very simple way that you can follow uh, once uh, assume that this is account creation okay it has sent an sms and then i have confirmed the uh, account creation using a one-time password that was sent through the sms now if i just you know i just tap in on the button and it automatically logs in into my account right so you get what's happening here right this is because account kit automatically saves your wait i'll show see you see this right uh phone authentication they de dev mode it's automatically your app gets saved inside account kit so that whenever uh, where is it it automatically logs in into your application since your app is being saved here you can if you remove this app then automatically you won't be able to you'll uh, you'll once again be sent an sms and asked to enter the code after which you could uh, log in into your application so this is a very simple uh, but efficient way of providing users access to users for your uh, application using phone authentication now you might wonder whether an account is being created or stuff like that don't worry what this does is it will just give you a uh, mobile number and uh, you can just get the mobile number and a token which the user can then make use of to make authenticated requests uh, we'll get into that entire part later for now you just you can just access the uh user uh sorry what was that user's mobile number which he entered to log in into your device and uh he'll automatically be provided with the email access token that you specified here right enable client access token flow that token will be provided to that guy uh using which he could make authenticated requests to, uh, to access the resources in the uh, application so this is what you will be getting you won't be the user can't access his or her facebook data facebook profile data in any way 
so yeah that's what i wanted to show you guys here uh, so yeah this is some of the most simple ways to implement uh, phone authentication in your ionic 3 applications guys hope this helped you uh, if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them to hit the thumbs up button so that it's some sort of appreciation to me and uh, thank you guys thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye